Reptile is so popular, he is trending tonight on Twitter. That is the elusive Humboldt Park alligator still hasn't been captured by wildlife officials who are urging the public to stay away from this lagoon. Now, our Liz Nagy is live in Humboldt Park tonight, and Liz, many people know you've been covering the story from the beginning, and tonight many people are calling you the investigator. Cheryl, at this point, reptile experts say one of the things that's making it very difficult for them to even spot this alligator is the murkiness of the water. Gator Bob, as we've come to know him, says that the water is so cloudy that even if the alligator is two feet away, if he sinks under the surface, it's almost impossible to spot him. Night falls on night two of Gator Watch, and Gator Bob is getting frustrated. This is an awfully big body of water. We're looking for a needle in a haystack. And we're talking about a needle that moves constantly. He's checked the floating traps he hand curated. Right now it's a combination of drumsticks, rats, and uh, smelt. Yum. Well, as far as a gator goes, that's a pretty good offering. And still, nothing. We're hoping that the, the wind blowing the scent across the water will catch his attention. The gator's mere presence here has caught the attention of the city. There's a full rotating crowd of spectators. It's not every day you can see an alligator in the wild in Chicago. I've seen a whole lot of catfish, some turtles. Uh, no gators yet, though. But the wild creature has made a handful of cameos today. Gator Bob says the gator is getting a little cozier. We're all speculating on, on whether he grew up in somebody's, you know, bathtub or backyard or something. He's enjoying the, the five feet of water. He probably was raised in six inches. Now it's a matter of getting the gator hungry enough and just the right bait combo to lure him in to carefully place traps. If we could find the animal, we can capture the animal. And they think their best chance of doing that is if the alligator is hanging around the perimeter, perhaps by the weeds, because they say that will limit his chance of escape. For that reason, they have also increased the number of traps out on the lagoon from three to five, and they're hoping in these overnight hours they might just be able to lure him in. We're live in Humble Park tonight. Liz Nagy, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right.